What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and welcome to our company office tour. This is where we produce about a hundred pieces of content each year from tech, lifestyle, and it's also where all the videos are edited. And so over the last year, I've given you guys a preview of different aspects and different sets of the space. And it's finally time to bring it all together and show you this entire setup. This office is 10 rooms. It was originally a lawyer's office. And so moving in was really easy. It allowed us to split each one into a strategic set with some that focus on natural light and others that are more fixed lighting setups that allow us to film whether the lighting is good or not outside. But it is also really good for storage. It allows us to have different furniture sets, have an area for all of the tech products and inventory, as well as an area to compile all of the camera gear as we also travel quite a bit to produce campaigns around the world. I mean, I'm really happy with the way that it has come together. And as always, I'm gonna to try to link as many of the products and furniture featured in this video as possible, as well as the gear. But I'm also gonna be doing many more lifestyle, day in life, behind the scenes and gear episodes. I show you guys the behind the scenes process of how we create our videos. So if you enjoy that, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, but let's go ahead and get started with our main set over here. So let's start out with the main set that you guys have probably seen the most videos filmed at. And this is a set that is bright and airy and very similar to some of my original setups that you guys might have seen dating all the way back to my parents' house. As you know, over the years, I've gone through phases of like matte black, walnut, but I really like to just go back to a bright white setup. And this is my personal office in this entire studio. This is a desk that I've wanted for quite a few years now, and I've actually made a separate video of these specific rooms, but this is the Herman Miller area paired with the Herman Miller Aeron. It is absolutely my favorite desk that I've ever owned because it is so simple. It is meant to be like a writing desk, but it does have good aspects of cable management and just having a simple Apple Studio display a Mac Studio or my MacBook Air plugged into it for daily workflow is just amazing. I get a nice view out. The sunlight pours in here during the daytime. And I love like the classic aspects of this office to the point where I almost kept the original floors of the place, but the condition just wasn't quite good enough. This is where we film a lot of our videos because it faces the sun in the right direction. And throughout different times of day, we're able to get a great lighting effect, not only on the desk setup itself, but also on the subject. A lot of times we'll wheel in a desk right here and to be able to do the talking head shots with a desk set up in the back is kind of my favorite set to default to. I know we've changed up our set many times throughout the years, but as you'll probably notice, the rooms in this office are all a really decent size. They're about 10 to 11 foot in width and length. And so it allows us to build different areas to it, use area rugs, side chairs, and side tables to have just enough storage. And so this is our main set. I've also done a bit of millwork on the walls here, which has like that classic to modern element. And just having art throughout the space livens it up a little bit, but this whole room's theme was white and walnut. It's very nice to go back to a minimalist setup. And I would say the current theme that I have in my home office, as well as my desk at the main office is really similar at the moment. So this is a look at the main set in what is my favorite room in this entire space. But let's go ahead and check out something that is a little bit different. And that is the matte black setup that is across from me. And that is where Trevor or general manager works at day to day. So this office has more of a matte black theme. I didn't want to make it completely dark. That's for another room that I'm going to show you later in this video. But this room has a lot of the dark furniture that I really like. I always like going back to something that has a nice punch of contrast. And so we have a Hayworth standing desk that has a really nice quality finish to it with a bit of exposed wood look on the side. So it combines modern and classic. But at the same time, we have a lot of great Grove made accessories in this office. And that goes very well with the matte black speakers, the ultra wide display, which is really good for productivity because a lot of Trevor's work is on the admin side. And we also have a few other elements from Ikea on the wall, including the LED panel, the pegboard, and the clock. This is a really cool room to just chill and relax in, and it works out nicely because I'm right across from Trevor, and whenever I have to come in and have some discussions and meetings with him, I honestly just sit right here, hang out for a little bit, while he's doing work on his computer. The wall itself has the same classic French millwork that you also find in my office as well as in my bedroom, and it is painted in a hail navy. 
just a good contrasty English style to it. And I think it's really subtle. And here we also have a record player, which admittingly is not plugged in. And ironically, it is right next to the Symphonisk from Sonos and Ikea. But just like a really relaxing room. Of course, we don't film as many videos here, but as you've noticed already, each room is so different. This is a complete contrast from my office, but that's what I love about having an office that has so much versatility. So this right here is the team meeting space. Here, we just have this Ikea desk that actually works really nicely because it wasn't too expensive, but it does have a cutout in the middle for all of the charging cables and power bricks. And these are just some random row of concepts chairs that I have, but they're pretty comfortable and it just works out and the whole team is able to fit here. But of course, there's also a whiteboard. This is where I can just like draw out all of the different video plans and things that we have to do and mark the different priorities based on color in red, as well as which day we're gonna be filming it and the time it's going to take. So this is kind of like our team meeting space. It's also where everyone just sits down and eats lunch. And as you've noticed by now, in the very beginning of the video, it is a very open concept and free flowing space while having segmented rooms for both filming and working. And everyone kind of just floats around depending on where they want to hang out throughout the day. But now let's head down the hallway and show you guys some of the more boring stuff before we take you to one of the other sets as well as the living room and overhead set. Before we move on to the next product though, I wanna give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Dropbox. I've been a customer of Dropbox for so many years now, and as a small business owner and a content creator, a lot of the difficulties come with juggling both the creative and the administrative aspects of the business. And with working with various creatives within the team and also outside the team, video editors and clients, we often find it difficult to stay organized with content and files across multiple different platforms. So with that being said, cue the productivity game changer Dropbox, who recently launched their business and business plus plans for teams of all sizes. Dropbox is the perfect solution for my team and I have necessary tools we need all integrated into a single platform so we can be more productive. We used to use so many different platforms to transfer footage to editors, send out deliverables to clients, receive and incorporate revisions and feedback. And it would be difficult to keep track of where files are and what has been completed, but now we're able to do everything just within Dropbox. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the features and how it has helped our team. The first one is send and track. I personally love the send and track capability that provides us real-time analytics and insight into our pitches and contracts with clients and brands. The analytics allow me and my team to see whether they've opened the file, how long they viewed it, and what areas they paused and spent the most time on so we know where they had questions or potentially needed clarifications, as well as learning from that and figuring out how we can make our pitches and our documents more effective and efficient. The next great feature is Replay. Once we finalize a brand deal or project, it replays a crucial role in revisions and feedback as I make YouTube videos, allowing my clients to get precise feedback by leaving comments on specific times and frames within the video, and even marking up the frame right within it. It simplifies the approval and revision process significantly as I'm always in a constant communication with several clients and brands, and having specific and detailed feedback all the time in one place ensures I don't miss anything and that all my clients stay happy. These are plans to help businesses thrive all within a single subscription in one place. It allows us to gain access to all of Dropbox's amazing tools to manage our work, deliver content, and also keep our clients satisfied. If you're looking for the all-in-one solution to get your business and and your team organized, just go ahead and click the link in the description section to learn more. So this right here is our inventory and stock room. It's where we have all of our tech products that we receive for review for product campaigns and just our Apple stash. And so I have all of the newest stuff at the front of the office. Some of the stuff is categorized into lighting, accessories. We can definitely do a better job of sorting these products, but overall, it is a dream to have this much space to have all of the products and the boxes because there are certain things that we do have to keep the boxes for. It is also an area where we have a bar lounge just to be able to sort the products, figure out what we need for an episode and set it aside. I believe this was like the copy room in the previous user space, but I just think it is so perfect. And as I've mentioned so many times in this video, this office space was just like exactly what we needed when it came to the layout. And even though it is more room than I personally need, it just made so much sense. So this right here is the gear room. 
And this is where we were originally gonna do all of our overhead filming. And so we had had this whole overhead setup put together for filming. And even though it is still a very usable and good overhead set for demonstrations using different color panels and all that, we ended up just using the front room and setting up a fixed lighting set. That way we could have a bit of the natural light character with a bit of fixed lighting to maintain that consistency. And so long story short, we don't really use this room for any sort of filming, but it is a really good prep area for getting all of our equipment together, laying out what we need for all the different shoots, filming around the office, but more specifically for travel as well, where the gear pack is a lot more adaptive than typical office filming day. Over here, we have all of this garage style equipment, and I honestly just went with whatever was the cheapest. I wouldn't say it was cheap by any means, but compared to somebody who might need like industrial grade, I would say the quality of it is pretty in line with what we specifically need it for. We tried to organize everything specifically to all of the different accessories for the GoPro and the FPV drones. We have a bit of a drone station and assembly station over there. Um, I mean, the batteries, cables, all this different stuff when it comes to equipment that can often be very overwhelming. We've tried to organize it as well as possible, but these are things that can sometimes take years and years. You can set things up one way for an office or desk setup, but as you use it, you find that there are many optimizations that need to be made to reach that sweet spot. And that is something that we still continue to experience even after being in this office space for about a year. It is also really nice to have like a workbench and a pegboard because there are just so many types of batteries. Another really cool accessory is these little gear carts. You can buy them from Ikea for pretty cheap and we usually wheel these around when we're filming because when it comes to tech, having compressed air cans is really important for keeping the dust off the objects and having spare batteries, cloths, lint rollers, and all that. It's just something that is good to have. And so having an all purpose cart like this for filming in an office like this is really important. So this right here might be very familiar because it is essentially a replica of our previous office loft. And for those who are wondering what I did with my office loft, I ended up renting out that place long term because as great of an office space as it was, it just wasn't quite big enough. We decided to build a replica of that set for now. And to do that, I did some walnut sliding right here, built it into a box, set up lighting to simulate a window and brought back all of the furniture that we had in that space. It just has a lot of the different tech products, magazines and accessories that I personally really enjoy, but I feel like it is a set that is going to evolve over time. And so if you guys have any ideas, make sure you let me know, but let's go ahead and move on to the next room. So as we make our way to the back of the office, here is the editing bay. Here we have three desk setups that are just like a simple Ikea desk with Grove made accessories that are really dressed up to fit the rest of the theme of the office. These Grove made accessories include the desk mats as well as the stands where we have different monitors on each one, including LG monitors and the Apple studio displays for the editors that need to reference color. And on top of that, a various array of different accessories depending on what each person has chosen. Generally speaking, I just want to keep it as consistent as possible while also having some storage for the hard drives, the camera backpacks, and all that good stuff in this PAX cabinet right here. So when it comes to the art in this office, there are a lot of walls to fill. And throughout the space, we try to integrate art that is able to be used in the background of videos and also fits the general aesthetic of just like a modern interior design, but also ties to tech and cars, because those are things that I personally enjoy. And so some of the art in the space is from Poster Lab. He has a very good collection of art that goes very well with general tech desk setups and you can really pick the color theme and pattern that fits your space and aesthetic specifically and we've tried to use a different variety. As you can see down the hallway we have more of a black and white look because there's that color splash that comes from the light as well as the red dot in that poster paired with our neutral storage cabinet. 
In addition to that, in another room, I also have a combination of just a bit more color down the other corner of the hallway, but I also have a lot of Formula One and car pieces from the automobile list. I've used their art for quite a few years in our previous office loft, and those are really good for any car lover out there, whether it is your favorite Formula One team or just classic cars. And so those are the two companies that I have a lot of different pieces of art from in this specific space. So one of my favorite rooms in the office is one that we've made a video on before, and that is the dark charcoal room. It is just a nice moody scene that really lets you focus on the product and the subject. And it's one that I've tested the concepts of way back in the day when I was still in my parents' basement, but it's nice to be able to bring it back. A lot of times we review products that are just a little bit darker. And so being able to focus on it and not have too many distractions is really important. And that is why this has become one of my favorite sets. Just setting up a grid, facing down in a dark room with dark millwork, walnut, and a small accent light on the back is just super chill. This is like a desk setup and one that we usually have with like a monitor, computer and everything. But if you want to take everything down and just do an unboxing and set up three different angles it is one of the easiest ways to do so. So now we made it to the other side of the office and this is the living room. It is one that we use to sit down and watch the Apple event, but to be honest, it wasn't getting used that often. And as we kind of retired our old office, we needed to create a new overhead set with the iconic marble table that I've used in pretty much every single video in the past few years. And because this side of the office faces the exact same way as a previous office, it was really good for lighting. But one of the biggest things that I wanted to fix was reducing the variables and being able to film overhead shots at any time. And so we finally set up some soft boxes, some soft lighting, balance boards and everything to be able to get that consistency. But it has that studio stand set up where we have the red camera mounted for any overhead demonstrations and general B-roll at the desk. This right here is a Rove Concepts marble table. And I mean, the marble just looks really, really good. I absolutely love it. And so it has been the perfect spot to film all of our overhead unboxings and general shots that you guys see at the start of the videos. But this room is going to be specifically used for these overhead shots and having a lot of extra room is nice because there are often a lot of products that are being filmed in batch. On this side, I have a bit of a sofa. So in between any B-roll, I might just be like hanging out, sit down, look through some of the notes of the videos and figure out what we need to film. But yeah, I've just kept it pretty wide open. And I think it's important not to try to clutter the space too much because in some rooms, I've definitely done that more than others. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this office tour. And I hope it wasn't too confusing. But the way the office is laid out, as you can probably tell by now, is that there is kind of a nucleus in the middle where our gear room and our a product room is surrounded by all of these little offices all the way around and a little pocket for a team meeting area. And I mean, I absolutely love it. It had to be the perfect space for me to want to sign a multi-year lease on it instead of owning the property like I usually do. But it has worked out really nicely. It's allowed me to separate my work and home life a little bit more. And on top of that, it is still a continuous work in progress. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you're going to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you would like to see, and I'll see you all in the next video.